The truth don't need motivation. I'm just saying I can't let these dudes lie. Cedric sitting here telling you why he ain't a movie star. He over here look like a walrus. You didn't say nothing. He can't even get his arms off his stomach sitting over here. Why I'm not a movie star. What? It's a situation. He never wrote anything. Remember, when Cedric the Entertainer starts, he's supposed to be singing, dancing, and telling jokes. That's why he's called the Entertainer. It's an entertainer, yeah. We found out he can't sing, can't dance, and doesn't he's write doing jokes. An album. He did four comedy specials. I They're so bad, it. Shannon. They're not available on Netflix or Tubi. Cedric told you when you asked him, did you steal Cat Williams' joke? Yeah. He said, it don't line up. How it don't line up that I did it on TV in 2018? You came to see me at the comedy store do it in 2019 and then did it on the Kings of Comedy. Like, what doesn't line up? I, this is a televised joke that Mark Curry helped me punch up and get to the level that it was. The same Steve that went to go watch Mark Curry do his whole sitcom and then stole everything Mark Curry had. Oh. Now Steve got a sitcom where he the principal and he wear a suit and he... And then he gets this high top fade, making all black men think he got the best lineup in the business. And it's a man unit. Then you ask it, why you not a movie star? I didn't want to be a movie star. This the same Negro that hated on Bernie with this same thing. I didn't want to be a movie star. No, you couldn't be a movie star. There are 30,000 new scripts in Hollywood every year. Not one of them asks for a country bumpkin black dude that can't talk good over KB and look like Mr. Potato Head. There ain't none. You would have to have a range. I played a lot of characters, 60 movie roles. I'm not playing Cat Williams in there. I don't know, I don't know Cat Williams. Right. I'll let you drink anymore. The way you, you, I mean, we ain't even got enough. you by alcohol. I've had a sip less than you. Look at the truth don't need motivation. I'm just saying I can't let these do. Hold up. I love what Cat just did. Hold up. Take note what Cat just, hold on. I'm going to replay that again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not going to let you drink anymore. The way you, you, I mean, we ain't even got I'm not fueled by Shannon says to him, so Shannon is on the ropes right now and saying and thinking that, oh shit, this interview is going against all of the people that I have relationships with that I invited onto this platform and on this podcast that I've made a lot of money on and increased my reach on and also demonstrated my breadth of knowledge or talent in relation to, to facilitating a podcast. So what does Shannon do? He throws in, you're speaking crazy because of outside forces. We can't give that to you anymore. Watch what Cat Williams does. Brilliant. I've had a sip less than you. And he stared at him in the eye the entire time that he did. Now, shout out to Cat. Holy moly, it's about to be a... It's about to be an interview right here. Look at Shannon. See, what Cat just did is he checked him. So Shannon is saying, Cat may not be the one to fuck with. And Cat might be telling truth. You understand what I'm saying? All right, let's keep, <laughs> look at Shannon's look throughout this. Look at Shannon's look throughout this. What you guys got to be able to, to, to extract from that is that when people try to undercut the value that you give or the things that you're saying with saying that, oh, you must have woke up on the wrong side of the bed. That's the reason why you felt like that. Oh, you must have been listening to too much MTR, Kevin Samuels. That's what the reason why you feel like that. Oh, you must have drank it too much. That's why you feel like that. No, stop right there. I ain't drink enough. Let go. The truth don't need motivation. I'm just saying I can't let these dudes lie. Cedric sitting here telling you why he ain't a movie star. He over here look like a walrus. You didn't say nothing. He can't even get his arms off his stomach sitting over here. Why I'm can't, not a movie can't, star. Can't, can't, what? It's a situation. He never wrote anything. Remember, when Cedric the Entertainer starts, he's supposed to be singing, dancing, and telling jokes. That's why he's called the Entertainer. It's an entertainer yeah. We found out he can't sing, can't dance, and doesn't he's write doing jokes. An album. He did four comedy specials. I they're so bad, Shannon. They're not available on Netflix or Tubi. Can I say that again for the audience? Damn, not they're Tubi? so bad that they're not available on Netflix or Tubi. You don't think Sam's a good, a, a good comedian? The world doesn't think that, sir, I have 12 comedy specials. He has four specials that are not available on Netflix or Tubi. You know what's interesting about that? Cedric the Entertainer, I thought back in his BET days, he was talented. But did he just stop doing stand-up comedy after the BET days? Because I would assume that all of his content tied to that is stuck with BET. So he can't do nothing about that. He don't own the rights to any of that content. But has he not come out with a special since then? Since Kings of Comedy? What up? It seems to me, Kat, that you had a lot to get off your chest. No, no. You wanted to set the record straight. Winners are not allowed to allow losers to rewrite history. I don't say any of these things if my name is not breached by these people on your platform. 
They, if you give them a liar a platform to... Hold up, hold up. Let's, let's do a little bit of fact checking. This is Netflix.com. Cedric the Entertainer live from the Ville. <laughs> Cat, are you lying? Uh, donning his signature suit and fedora, the dapper comic offers a unique spin on getting old, the presidential election, and honky tonk badonkadonk, whatever the F that that means. Starring Cedric the Entertainer. All right, this is currently available on Netflix. Okay? Uh, so I don't know what Cat Williams is talking about. Let's keep rocking. To lie, then I, I'm not being messy by saying, hold on, that never happened. It's untrue. And there are hundreds of witnesses for each thing I'm saying. So let me ask you this. What is your relationship with Steve Harvey, Ricky Smiley, and Cedric the Entertainer as you sit here currently? They've for 30 years, they're a group. These aren't three random guys. The way that Ricky Smiley kept appearing at all of my auditions is because of Steven said he would tell anybody that, listen, they got a gang on that side. They know what it is. They know who the gang is. Why Earthquake not in movies? Cause he's illiterate. He can't read. And they found that out when they gave him a show and put the cards in front of him. Well, like all of these dudes are co-entwined and they share secrets. And this is the age of truth. And, and, and the truth doesn't need to be scared of the fact that people tell lies. Uh, cats on drugs. Where are the stories? Why is there no story of anybody who ever sold a drug to me, did a drug with me, was around me when I was inebriated? I got five daughters. I got five sons. Why would Damn. we tell these ridiculous stories? Because it's com competition. You mm. you feel like, well, why comedy, comedy guys can't just get along? Yes. Why, 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 why didn't right. you get along with the other teams you were competing against? Oh. If you're a Denver Bronco, why you don't get along with the Cowboys? Something wrong with you? Oh. But I don't disagree. I don't no, dislike no, all the no. Cowboys. Cat, damn, you like this? No, like, that's okay, not. Okay, what comedian do you did like? Did you play against the team? Yes. I've taken 46 comedians with me on the road. Yeah. 46. Okay. Yeah. I'm not the comedian you can give that to. I only put on comedians that are funnier than me. Mm. Anybody that ever told you differently was a fat Faison liar. There's nobody Faison, like you? me in the business. Faison just called a straight. Faison said that getting a Netflix special is easy. I have 12 specials. Guess how many Faison got? Zero. So Why is he idea. allowed to have conversations about? <laughs> Yo, cat is popping off. Guys, listen, Um, I want to listen to these claims of stolen jokes. Uh, from Cat Williams to from Cedric the Entertainer. So we're going to watch that here in a second. Right. That you couldn't hear the damn thing when it cut off. It looked like this. You flossing in a six shift converter. Now, once again, here goes Cedric the Entertainer doing his joke from Kings of Comedy. They gonna move to the moon. Ain't gonna happen. Y'all move to the moon, damn it, we coming to the moon. Oh, we'll be right behind y'all in space shuttles with Cadillac grills, niggas. Look at that rolling, one headlight out. Tags be all wrong. All base. <laughs> Y'all know we'll drive a space shuttle too. That's right up our damn alley. A space shuttle is long 
We ain't scared of no black folk. We a driver space shuttle. We grew up driving long for cars. We a driver space shuttle like it's a 72 deuce and a quarter. We, 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 we get us a cigarette. We get us, we be in a space shuttle like it's a 72 deuce. Okay, so both of them was in the car. That's the premise of the joke. Music being too loud, you gotta turn it down. He stole that joke. <laughs> it's too similar. He stole that joke. I mean, he changed up him being in a spaceship. But besides that, he stole that joke. Put a one down into the building if you believe he stole that joke. Put a two down into the building if you thought that. Nah, there's no way. Put a one down into the building if they're too, way too similar to be coincidence. Put a two down into the building if you don't believe that he stole that joke. The chat has spoken. <laughs> the chat has spoken. That was way too similar. That, that was way too similar. About real stand-up people. We do not let people who are on the juice discuss real athletes. Yep. That's all. As a journalist. That's yeah. all. That's all I'm saying. Okay. I don't ha harbor any resentment to any of these entities because I can't be jealous. I've never seen them have anything that I ever wanted. If you sign up for their program, you get a light skin, weird face wife that never do an interview. Oh, in man, tw on. Listen, in 20 years, won't do an interview. Nobody's ever talked to her and that she's never been interviewed anywhere. And now understand, I'm not talking about one person. What I just told you applies to seven people. Mm. How they all end up with that. That's part of what you get. I came in this business saying I was going to expose. When I talked about Michael Jackson, when I talked about R. Kelly, they canceled me for these things because why would you talk about another black dude? Race is not where the line is drawn. Hello. It's God's side and the other side. Uh. And we don't care nothing about the other side. Period. Period. All of these uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them. The, all, every, all lies will be exposed. Exposed. That's huh. all. And, and, and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. Oh, shit! Shout out to Cat Williams! 2024, we are back on our year of accountability! What up? We back on the year of accountability. What up? It goes far beyond race. It's the good side and the evil side. And let me tell you guys something. From my experience, this is why I find it so hard to collaborate and work with people that you don't really know like that, but from a business perspective. That's why I find it so hard because what Cat Williams is describing is essentially within comedy, there was the good old boy sector. They all teamed up together and collaborated irrespective of the bad decisions or the bad behavior or the lack of accountable actions that they had been making. Hey.